It's gonna be hard to top the last episode. We are feeling the pressure. <laughs> wine that's that's called what's it called uh samurai shiraz samurai shiraz and the claim is that it tastes like australian sunshine and ninjas which worries me slightly because australian sunshine is a little bit you know much mm. that's really good yeah so we have a full-on cheese bird this time <laughs> we have a um a gouda a goat's cheese gouda stilton and then we have truffle pecorino mm. I've already had some Shiraz this afternoon from Australia. So the, the grapes, the Shiraz or the Syrah grape, but it depends on where you're from. Um, they're both the same thing. So if you see Shiraz and Syrah, it's the same, the same, same grape. But it's yet another way to make um, wine complicated <laughs> unnecessarily. Yeah. So we're cheating because we've had this wine before. Yeah. I don't remember it. It smells like fucking really strong. <laughs> I don't know. It smells like really, really fruity wine. So the other thing about this wine is it is one of those natural biodynamic shenanigans. They just plonk the grapes down and let the juice run out of them as the grapes ferment rather than squashing them and then letting the um, the juice ferment. They just... I think maybe you're getting confused with the fact the company is called Free Run Grape. So it contains sulfites and stuff like that? Uh, uh -huh. No sulfites, no intervention, no spraying, no pesticides, no nothing. That's why it'll only keep for three years. Fuck. The other thing is this is a vegan and vegetarian wine. So if you're looking for a nice big meaty Friday night red wine that's vegetarian and vegan, I shouldn't probably have used the word meaty along with vegetarian. <laughs> it's such a strong smell that you could actually just sit and sniff it all day. Cheers. Cheers. It's so punchy, isn't it? It's really punchy. There is a thing that happens with like natural wines that it just, it does taste less. Do you know what, it, right, the only way I can compare it is like dark chocolate versus like kinder egg chocolate. It's a different quality that it has. It's a different quality. So there was another thing that I really noticed when we watch our vlogs back is, see when I'm eating, Yeah. I move my mouth a lot. Oh, I bet I, I love that about you. Yeah. Always loved that about you, yeah. You eat with like such vigour. I'm surprised nobody's went, Louise, calm your jaws. Mm, you like food, that's fine. That and now. That's a really good um, question. I'm in some Stilton. <gasps> a really good Stilton. So this Stilton is not the Colton Bassett Stilton, it's... It's the other one. It's from the same place. I don't know what the, what do you mean by the other one? The orange one. But what is it? I don't know. Mm. Oh, I don't know. We need to be able to inform people. I know that. As to what cheese is giving us the lady bonus. <laughs> God, it's so good. It's good, isn't it? Um, I think the Stilton's my favourite. Look, can I have that bit? I'm gonna have this tiny little bit over here. Right. Right, and that's it. Oh, no, I'm done. Oh. Rest me. What I do when I'm portioning out the cheese is I put... Portioning. She portions the cheese for <laughs> me. Do you want me to go just talk about that? Because people don't all know, always know. The impact that the screw cap has on the quality of the wine is none. It's basically the two closures, the cork and the screw cap, are there to stop the wine from falling out. It stops bacteria and, and, um, and things from getting in. So, but the problem with cork is it can, it can have, it's like wood, it can have a fungus to it as well. So like it can be infected by a fungus. And apparently all corked wines, um, of all corked wines, so you lose like four or five percent of them to this fungus because it makes the, the wine taste terrible. The screw cap won't do that and a lot of people use it on wines that are meant to be drank young like these natural wines. And this one's 2016 so it's super young and the screw cap's not going to have an impact apart from making snobs like us go. I don't know if I want to drink this because it's got a screw cap. I don't know who you're calling this snob. I really liked it the first time we had it. Mm -hmm. But I don't like it as much today. Really? Oh, fuck. I just want you to be happy. I would have given this a 9 the first time we had it. Mm. And today I'm like more in the region of an 8. Why do you think that is? Do you think it's because I've already had so much wine today? So you used clickbait last week. 
We're gonna do the same this week. We're gonna say lesbians get naked. <laughs> it's quite um it's quite uh it's quite difficult like putting yourself on the internet. Mm -hmm. You do I know we joked about it last week, but you do open yourself up to ridicule. I'm quite a sensitive person, you're quite sensitive. Today Heather asked me <laughs> <laughs> Did you used to pluck your eyebrows here? I was like, used to? I still do pluck my eyebrows. <laughs> but I, f I love I just your get, eyebrows, they're so beautiful. You know, I just get totally distracted by the other hairs on my face that I have to <laughs> So my nostrils are hairy. Did you shave your nostrils no. too? No. It's, it's always quite drawing It's just like me. one little nostril here that kind of comes out <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I meant that by the way. It's like you dip your. Oh, fuck, are you saying? Oh my god! What? <laughs> I just stopped it. Just, just... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there's naked people over there. <laughs> Did you give me mine back? No. <laughs> Let's score the wine. Could I have another little glass? So, out of 10, Heather. A 8.7. It's quite low for you. <clears throat> no. 8.8. I think the first night I had it, I would have voted it a 9.1. Really? Mm -hmm. But that kind of shows you like, your mood and your... Uh, the things that you've drank and the things that you've eaten affect how you score the wine. So really actually what you should do is completely disregard all of our vlogs. My score is 9 out of 10. I'm going to go 9 out of 10. <laughs> oh, look what's over there. Uh.